Rosario Sanchez. I'm a beauty blogger and makeup artist from Colombia living in Los Angeles. I do a lot of beauty and fashion makeup and my favorite thing to do is artistic makeup. Creating some looks inspired by Marvel. There are many reasons why I love the Marvel Universe. First, the mutants. I see them as a reflection of society because we're all different and we don't always get accepted. I also like that most of them were born with their powers like Wolverine, Mystique and pretty much all of the X-Men. Wolverine and Deadpool are my favorite guys in the Marvel Universe. They are friends, they are funny and they have more of a real personality. Sometimes I prefer them over superheroes. On the other hand, Mystique is my favorite girl. She can change her looks anytime and she fights for what she wants. I have Marvel themed images in my office and workspace and even in my kitchen. So let's start with the video. First I will start lining up the shape of the helmet with a white pencil. Next I'm going to fill in with traditional Iron Man colors yellow and red. To create the eye of the helmet I'm going to use light blue paint over my eyebrow. Now I'm using black and brown eyeshadow to create shades of the mask. This is going to give me more of a 3D illusion. Next step is to use a black eyeliner or black eyeshadow to create the shape of the mouth and again we're going to keep blending to create more shape. On the other side of the face I want to create Tony Stark's face. For that I'm going over my eyebrows to make them thicker creating some lines and some new face features to look more like Tony Stark. I'm also creating facial hair because Tony Stark's beard is super important for this character. For the neck and chest, I'm painting everything that I can see in the camera with red paint. To complete the look, I'm creating the wounds on my face and cracks on my mask to seem that I just got out of a fight. For this makeup, I want to create a prosthetic piece. For that, I'm using my mannequin head, some latex and cotton balls. This is going to help me create a rock-like shape. I basically add one layer of latex, a cotton ball, and then two more layers of latex. Before it's dry, I use a sharp end to sculpt even more the shape of the rocks. Once this piece is dry, I can place it over my forehead, gluing it in with some more latex. Then I just repeat the same steps I did on the mannequin head, but this time on my face using latex and cotton balls to keep doing their rock-like shape. Now that it's dry, I put on some blue contact lenses and then start painting my face. First I use a layer of yellow paint, then some orange and then some brown. I continue applying all the paint with a sponge to give it texture. I'm using dark brown on the edges of the rock to intensify the color and make it look more realistic. Then I add black to intensify it even more. To make it look more real, I'm adding white eyeshadow to create highlights on the face. To complete the thin look, I add some more pieces to my neck, shoulders and chest. This look is inspired by Marvel Zombies. I'm going to start by outlining the shape I want to create with a light colored pencil and giving my face a pale green color to look more like a zombie. To define the bones of my face to make it look more like a dead person, I'm applying brown eyeshadow under my cheekbones and the bones of my forehead. Now with a brown pencil, I can outline the shapes I want to do on my mouth and on my nose. I also drew some wounds I wanted to make on my forehead and then I'm going over them with a black liner. With the same black eyeliner, I'm creating the shape of my mask. With a small brush and white paint, I'm drawing some teeth inside the ribs that I did on the side of my mouth. Then I'm painting my lips with a red lip liner and with a brown eyeshadow, I create some shade around the ribs that I drew on my face. This is going to make it a more real look. I'm also using some red and purple around the ribs of my mouth because I want this to look more swollen and painful. With pink paint and a small brush, I also drew the gums in my mouth. Going back with the black liner, I'm going to finish the mask and trying to make it as easy even as possible on both sides. I'm also filling in the ribs on my forehead with red paint and white paint. On my nose, I'm making bigger nostrils and adding some shade around my mask to make it look more three-dimensional. For a more realistic touch, I'm adding white paint creating horizontal lines. This is giving me more of a highlight effect. I also use that same effect on my lips. For my eye makeup, I'm using a winged black eyeliner and some purple black eyeshadow on my eyelids. To complete this look, I added some contact lenses, a blonde wig, and of course my Miss Marvel costume. 